One thing I noticed that sometimes happens in the Catholic Church is people who lead extremely ordinary lives are declared a saint or moved up in the process of canonization to sainthood because of their extraordinary spiritual lives that they had within their ordinary life. A couple examples are St. Therese of Lisieux's parents and also Matthew Talbot out of Ireland, construction worker. Today, I want to focus in on Blessed Jose Gregorio. He was born in 1864 in a small village in Venezuela. He's baptized and confirmed in the Catholic Church. At the age of 13, he expressed a desire to become a lawyer to his mother, and she told him he should become a doctor, go into the medical profession. His mother was a housekeeper, and his father sold pharmaceuticals and livestock. So at the age of 14, he went from his hometown, small village, in the Andes Mountains range, went on a tough journey to Caracas. He enrolled in one of the country's best high schools, and he graduated in 1882 with a bachelor in philosophy. Then he went on to medical school and after six years, got his degree. He was described by his professors as an outstanding academic mind, and also he had great conduct in his life. After he graduated, the Venezuelan government awarded him with a grant to continue his studies. He went to Paris and studied other branches of medicine and came back and worked in a hospital in, in uh, Caracas. There was two times d while he was a doctor, he attempted to become a Catholic priest in Italy and both times he was not able to because he, he had fairly uh, kind of frail health. One thing he did do was he treated the poor for free and even bought medicines for them with his own money. And he, in 1918, the Spanish flu hit Venezuela. He, he took care of the contagious persons in Caracas and he died in 1919 after being struck by a car. His remains are in a Catholic church in Caracas, Venezuela. After his death, people around the country started claiming to have been granted miracles through his intercession to God. Now he's commonly invoked as Jose Gregorio for his intercession by doctors and patients. Eventually his name became known all over Latin America and Spain. In 1945, the Venezuelan Catholic Church started to look at the process of canonization for him to become a saint. In 1985, the Vatican granted him the status as venerable, and the next step, step in the process is his, his uh, beatification, becoming a blessed. Pope Francis in June 2020 approved his beatification because of a miraculous healing. After young girl was shot in the head, her mother asked Blessed Jose Gregorio for his intercession, and she was miraculously healed. The doctors gave no hope to her or her family because of her injury. And the Catholic authorities defined the recovery of the teenager who was shot a miracle. She walked out of the hospital after 20 days. So I think he's a great example who lived an ordinary life. He tried to do God's will. He lived his life with heroic virtue. And after his death, because of all the miracles happening through his intercession, 
he became known as a saint. So that's a great example for us in our lives, no matter what we do, to stay close to God in prayer, do God's will, and live lives of heroic virtue.